I've just entered my salad bowl. You can just go for it. At some point, a dog has peed on this. So no grocery stores, no restaurants, not even eating from gardens. Everything that I'm eating, I have to find growing, whether it's city parks, abandoned lots, or being out deeper in nature. Just in this little tiny patch, there are four edible and medicinal foods. We've got, of course, dandelion. Everybody knows dandelion. We've got plantago, which is another really great food and medicine. And then just a little ways up here, one of my personal favorites, lamb's quarter. Similar to spinach, this is growing in pretty much every major city across what we call the United States and a lot of the world as well. Oh, we've got, of course, raspberries here. You can make raspberry leaf tea from this. Do I eat complete meals? Absolutely. Subsisting of largely wild rice, venison or fish, and different herbs and spices and all sorts of different greens, plus different berries. Some people call this a roadkill deer. I call it a deer that's been hit by a car. This is not a survival project. For me, this is about enjoying life and it's about thriving and it's about feeling great. I've eaten over a hundred different foods from nature over the last month. And by opening up my eyes, I realized I had barely even tapped into what there is. I definitely feel more present and more deeply connected to the earth. For the last 10 years, I've been rethinking our global industrial food system and all the ways in which it causes so much destruction. And I want to eat in a way where I can find food growing that has no harm to the earth. Foraging can be legal or illegal depending on where you are. Yeah, some days I'm out breaking the law, but for me, foraging is actually one of the ways in which I choose to purposely go against the system, go against societal norms and say, yeah, I don't need these corporations to provide for me in a way that's destroying the earth. Most people, they go to the grocery store and they buy their food and they just assume it's safe because it comes in a package or because it's got some great advertising. The truth is, is that a lot of that food there isn't safe. Right here is oxalis or wood sorrel. And this is often one of the first plants that people try because it's got a real nice flavor. It's a lemony flavor. You can get oxalis, blend it up into your salad dressing and have a nice lemony salad dressing. What if everybody started foraging? Wouldn't we destroy nature overnight? That couldn't be further from the truth. If every human being wanted to start foraging and wanted to stop going to the grocery store, you know what that would mean? It would mean people are thinking about the world in a different way. It would mean our broken societal structures would crumble and we would replace them with regenerative, equitable, just ways of living that are connected to the earth. My recommendation for new foragers is to learn one plant at a time. And if you just learn one plant a month for a year, you'll know 12 plants. Now, if you really wanna go faster, you could learn one plant per week for a year that's 52 plants and you will go from a beginner to a plant wizard. My goal is to break free from the grocery store and to maintain that largely for the next decades ahead. The world needs more foragers and maybe that is you.